Right, so the next chapter we're going to cover is something called learning curves. And learning curves is a more of a technical chapter. So it's one of the technical chapters that you have in the performance management syllabus. And because of that, students sometimes tend to be intimidated by it. But please, it's quite simple once you understand the concept behind it. So it, all it takes is a bit of practice. As far as the exam goes, it's very popular in section B, where you have a five set quest, uh, case of MCQs. So it's very popular in those sets. It's popular in section A. It can come as a full fledged question in section C, but it's unlikely. Usually, if learning curves do appear in section C, they're a small calculation part of a larger calculation. So what you'll see is learning curves relate to the calculation of labor cost. So whether it be a variance calculation, a life cycle costing calculation, a profit maximization calculation, in a section C question, they might ask you to calculate the labor cost based on some learning curve calculation. So that's how you might get it in section C, but mostly it's focused on the MCQs. So in this chapter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce ourselves and see what happens when we learn about learning curves. We're gonna look at what a learning rate is then it comes to the calculation part. Learning curve calculations can be dealt with in two forms. There's a table and there's a formula. We'll cover both of them. We'll look at something called the steady state calculation. And then finally, we'll look at calculating the learning rate, all of which are relevant topics which can be tested in the exam. So without further ado, let's get started.